Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week, where we ask a panel of experts questions you want answers to. And the question this week is, in this market, is it important to sell before you buy? Let's check out what the experts have to say. Well, we always say it depends on your personal needs and your personal situation. Um, the most important thing is for us to look at those options up front, and there are a lot of options mm -hmm. to make sure that you are set up for success to buy, especially in a competitive market. The answer isn't always necessarily selling, but just taking those right steps. Okay. <clears throat> exactly. You know, we always sit down with people and do a consultation and find out what are their goals, what do they want, what do they need, you know what I mean? And, and for everybody, it is different. Um, it depends, do you need the money from the sale of your home to buy the next home? Right. You know, I mean, that, that's, that's a huge. big consideration. A lot of people do. And some people are afraid, hey, what if we sell and we can't find the right house? Or, you know, what if we don't have enough time and things? And we say, you know, that can easily be put in place with contingencies. We can say you're selling contingent upon finding the right place. Um, some sellers don't want to take a contingent offer. Uh, but once you have your buyers have removed their contingencies, you can basically put in a non-contingent offer. So we have been able to negotiate several times, mm -hmm. uh, seller in possession after close of escrow. And because buyers want the house, they're willing to, you know, give that. So, I mean, it really just depends on what we find out. What do you need? What, what's right for you and your family? Absolutely. I think the important thing to keep in mind is there are tons of different options. Mm -hmm. And once we get clarity on that, we can figure it out. It always works out. A lot of buyers have that concern if they need to sell and buy. And it, it's always worked out. Always. Right? Okay. As long as we can get some clarity up front and you know, set them up for success. Exactly. And when we know what to do, I mean, we're strong negotiators. And we'll negotiate what you need. 30 days after close of escrow in your home or 60 days in escrow, you know, or make them remove their contingencies very early on the sale of your home so we can make a non-contingent offer or whatever. But I, I think the important part is listening to our clients and finding out what do you need, you right. know, to make sure that, you know, we're working for them in their time frame. Thank you, ladies. That was Rebecca Monge and Alicia Tanksley at San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week. If they have a house to sell before they buy, yes. that's, that's the most efficient way if they want to make the most money. Now, and that sounds kind of weird, but I just closed a deal with Five Star Escrow and the person was elderly and her health was bad. Aww. So for her to sell, um, and then buy would have been kind of impossible because she was not bedridden, but she was almost bedridden. Mm. And so um, she did lose money a little bit, but she needed that convenience um, in order to get on to the next place. So it's only good if you want, if you need the more money, but if you have different circumstances, you need different circumstances. Right, so you're telling me that woman's situation is one example, or if you found your dream home, because it's very hard. What's here today is not here tomorrow, Absolutely. necessarily. So if you've got the money, you're saying you found something that suits your needs, your wants, your family's desires, it's okay to do that because it, you've got the money to do it. Yes. And, okay. Um, well, and when I say okay, it does make things harder if you make it contingent on the sale of your property, if you haven't already gone through that transaction yet, because it's a weak offer. Right. Um, and it's very hard to get that accepted from a seller, especially in this market when they got people that are ready to go. Right. And so, but if you're stuck in that situation, then just tough it out and uh, work that situation. Okay. Well, thank you so much. There you have it, Jack right Rowe. San Diego Market Movers, the question of the week. That's a good question. And I think, uh, I think we hear that from most sellers because the big concern is that there might not be anything to buy. Right. Uh, what we've been finding out is that, um, I mean, it really depends on your situation, but as a seller in today's market, there's so much leverage because of the, of the high demand uh, that sellers are really able to dictate terms and work in contingencies as a seller uh, to acquire a replacement property before closing. So I think one thing definitely that Josette points out to all of our clients is uh, we'll never leave you in a position where you're going to be homeless. If you're selling your property in this market, you really kind of steer the ship and it's and it's up to you. So I don't think it's really necessary to 
to have your property sold and closed prior to purchasing your next property. Would you agree? No, I 100% I agree with that. And I think it is a safer move to um, strategize, set it up that way, um, because essentially you will never have, um, like Jared was saying, the market's kind of tricky right now. Inventory is very low. So to sell your home and then know that your dream home is out there, um, we don't know how long that takes. We don't know how long that takes to find. So by placing that contingency and not selling your home until you find your next dream home, your next replacement property, it's the safest bet. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much for that information. I know it's going to help our viewers. Yeah, but I was going to say if somebody really is, um, you know, wondering how to do that, how to sell a home and buy another one, we are so well versed in this, this um, niche, I will call it, of uh, sell by or moving up, moving down. Um, we do it all the time. So it always starts with a consultation and describing the, the process and really placing the confidence in our consumer, our client, to know that we will make sure that we do not sell your home out from underneath you. We will make sure that you have contingencies in place to protect you on both the sale and the purchase. Okay, great. Thank you so yeah. much. So you hear that. Contact Josette and Jared for more information. Thanks again for Thank joining you. us. Thank you. San Diego Market Movers question of the week. Uh, and I'm going to give you the typical attorney-like answer. Okay. It all depends. Right. Uh, because we are now clearly in a in a shift. The market is shifting. We can uh, uh, we can look at the national and state numbers uh, that would tell you something. But for those of us who are holding open houses, have listings out there, we are seeing now less offers. We're seeing uh, you know not as uh, aggressive buyers out there. I think they're all tired. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it's an interesting time. So going back to the question, uh, it, in some pockets also, it may be better to kind of hang on to your house, uh, make an arrangements with uh, your listing agent saying, hey, let's put my house for sale, subject to me finding another property. Because it still may be, uh, even though now there are less buyers, there's still a little bit of a lack of inventory out there. Uh, so it's not as, easy to find a property, it's getting easier. There might be some other properties coming on uh, with all those unfortunate uh, families that had a tough time during the pandemic where they are going to have to be forced to sell their homes right. if they can't negotiate with their banks or uh, even if they could negotiate with their banks to kind of extend the, the loan period, they might st not still have a good job to pay their actual uh, mortgages. Uh, they have equity in their homes, but they miss, might, might have to sell. So we might have that coming in. So again, that's good news for the buyers. So again, my recommendation right now is look for a property, uh, but not aggressively until you actually put your house on the market. Once you put your house on the market, then go out there and make sure that you condition the sale of your house subject to you finding uh, suitable housing. So I hope that helps. Okay. It does. <laughs> it does help. It's such a, it's a vulnerable time for a lot of yeah, people. You know, yeah. then you think about contingencies, you know, is maybe it's safer to do a contingent and maybe, yeah. they'd, maybe they'd accept it. So yeah. like you said, it's slowing down a little yeah. bit. And so you want to avoid the nightmare of all of a sudden your client sells their house and they have nowhere to go. And now what do you do? What do you do? You want, want to make sure you protect them from that aspect. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Miguel Nunez, San Diego Market Movers, question of the week. Well, that's a very good question, May. And, um, you really have to look at the market and we all know now we're in a seller's market. And what is a seller market? A seller market is that we have more buyers than the inventory that we have. So that means the seller has a slight advantage over buyers in this market. So if you're going to sell your home, you don't really need to sell ahead of time because you can put things into contract to allow you to stay in your home longer even after the sale or longer escrows. So in, in a seller's market, it is not typically necessary to sell your home first. Okay. Okay. That's great information to be had. Because that's a tricky one. Some people are nervous about that. So thank you so much. Yes. Now, on the flip side, if it was a buyer's market, then everything changes. Right. But in today's market, being a seller's market, um, there are so many avenues that you can take that some people don't even know about. You know, right. longer escrows, rent backs. Um, contingent sales, there's a lot of things that you can do. And uh, I would think that people should get their home ready to sell, 
but they don't need to sell it first. Okay, great. There you have it. Robert Senzer, San Diego Market Movers, question of the week. I think it's mandatory right now. Um, it's really not an option. Our inventory is so low at the moment. Um, sellers don't have to consider contingent offers. They have choices. So when the seller's receiving six, eight, ten offers, they, there'd be no motivation for them to, to accept an offer that might fall out because the, the buyer might not be able to sell their home. So it's, it's really, I'm not even letting my clients consider it right now. Um, okay. In fact, I'm in a, in a position right now where my client, we're going to wait till we get past the contingency periods to even start shopping because then at least we can put offers in that aren't contingent. Okay. Um, um, the only way a buyer can functionally not sell their home is if they're going to overpay and nobody wants to overpay. Right. So it's just it, right now it, it, uh, contingent offers just aren't even um, being discussed at the moment. They're just sort of off the table. That'll, that may change and it'll shift as our market shifts, but at the moment sellers really have to sell before they, before they start shopping. Okay. Because anything they're looking at now is not going to be gone. available in a month from now. Right. And, and so it's really um, only going to serve to frustrate buyers. Right. Right. It's so discouraging. It's very discouraging. When, when that and and um, this like market that. is crazy enough without that element because a lot of buyers are having a hard time getting their offers accepted. Um, so you just have to have a, a professional that knows how to navigate it, but know that, that contingent offers just aren't an option at the moment. Okay. That's very, very knowledgeable and uh, very helpful. So thank you so much for that. And we'll see what happens with the market. Yes, absolutely. There you have it. Thanks, May. You're welcome. Susan Gedstedt, San Diego Market Movers, question of the week. Absolutely. In almost any market, it's good to do that. The reason is it gives you the power to be in the next transaction to negotiate. By you having your home sold, if you have to sell your home to buy, then the, the next seller does not have to worry about, well, what if it doesn't sell? If I'm going to keep my property off the market for someone that's not going to come through. This way, you are almost a cash offer because they already know you sold your home. So as, absolutely, get your home sold and then let's look and find for the other property. You are in, as a seller, you're in the driving seat. So if you worry about where am I going to go, it's okay. Because as a, as a seller, you can stipulate that you want to rent back, that you want to be able to close this once you find the property that you're, that you're looking for. So there are several ways in which you can control the transaction to your benefit. Okay. Well, there you have it from an expert. Zoraya de la Bastida, San Diego Market Movers, question of the week. Great opinions from the experts. Check us out again next week.